Pick your leg up there, there you go. You may be wondering what's going on here. I can't wait to play there again. I can't wait to get back on the stage. That's Twin Cities indie music icon Mark Malman outside Turf Club. Malman is just one of more than 50 local artists posing in front of eight Twin Cities music venues in an effort to raise awareness and fundraise to offset lost venue revenue during COVID-19. It's been uh, very awesome to see it grow. They're now fundraising right on their site. It's been a really kind of cool process to to see that grow and have so many artists want to come out uh, to help represent these places that are going through some tough times. Artists like Black Widows. There's nothing more cathartic right now than playing music with people I love. And Static Panic. We want to get together in a way that makes sense and feels good and yeah. is safe for everyone. Are lending their efforts to help venues like Hook and Ladder. We haven't had any income um, since March 13th. Since March, they've only been able to provide live concerts via the web, known as their Hookstream series. What a fundraiser like this means to us is it's going to allow us to continue to pay the rent and the bills that allow us to keep providing the free Hookstream series until we can begin incorporating, expanding upon a studio audience. For Malman, he's here to help out a venue he says lives in his DNA. Well, these clubs, um, they're, they're like the lifeblood of our music scene and they just need to stay open for this this time period, you know, keep going. And then once things get back to normal, whenever that is, we'll be going to shows again. It'll be fun. For now, I'm just playing in my basement. Jason Rantala, CARE 11 News. Music in Minnesota began their fundraising yesterday. To donate, you can head to their website, musicinminnesota.com.